So this video is one I've wanted to do for a while. This one has been one of my most frustrating videos to put together. But we are going to talk about Reservist Steins. The fake, the good fakes, the interesting ones that may or may not be fake depending, and then the real ones. These cups, if you are trying to find one to put in a collection and you are going to verify they're real and the person knows they're real, you are going to possibly pay upwards of $200 to $500 per cup. And depending on the unit, it could go up to $1,000 as well as condition. So let us start out. This one right here is a mass-produced fake that was made in West Germany. It is very, I won't say nicely done, but very of its very quality print. And they try to make it look, they try to make it look as authentic as possible, but it just sort of looks out of it. It doesn't look great. It just, it looks like kids drew some of the stuff on there. I use this one for holding badges, but that's what this one is. It was made in West Germany. The stamp is there. It's a little hard to see. And was made for tourism. Now, we go on to this one. Sadly, the cap part has fallen off. This, if you want a high-quality reproduction, this cup will set you back 100 two hundred dollars for a reproduction it was very well made and these were made in the 90s as a as a uh, tribute to the german army they are very well done this is the first bavarian infantry regiment from what i understand it has the names it has the inside if we look up here where it shows King Ludwig. It has the back where all that is done very nicely. When I say nice, this thing, if you are going for fakes or you're going for one you can't find a real one, this would be your best option to buy. It is beautifully done. Handcrafted. And honestly, looks good on a shelf. But, again, it is a reproduction. An amazing reproduction, but a reproduction on the list. Now, let us go to this one. This is an interesting one. So, everybody who I've talked to says is most likely original. The only doubts they have for this one are the newer writing for the German to the older writing, the older cursive writing that you see up here. Now, this cup is old. It is not a 90s, very well done reproduction. It's not a 60, 70. I'd pick up for $5, put on a shelf, just to have reproduction. This one, at the very worst, is a 1940s reproduction made during the beginning of the Second World War to bring patriotism to, sadly, Hitler's cause. I'm not saying it is. The things on here are correct. You have the buttons that are painted on the soldiers. That is one thing you were looking for, the painted buttons. If you feel one of these cups, the buttons are hand-painted, so you feel this and you feel the buttons. The names... The names are hand-painted, and you can see here, and you can feel over them where you can feel the light bit of lacquer that made the names. And all these speak to it being 100% authentic. The only question are is the writing, which is a little weird. I mean, it might be authentic. It might be 100% authentic. But at worst, it is a 1940s, very early 1940s reproduction which is interesting to think about. Now you can take this one and we can look up and you can see there is a soldier in there and it's very nicely done. 
And you can see on reproductions, like this one, they also do the lithograph. It's a lot more expensive, and that's why that reproduction is a lot more than this reproduction that does not have it. And this, again, may or may not be a reproduction. I am not going to say it's not, because this is... This is one of those that if you want something real and someone was charging you $100, you'd pick up because at the worst it is a piece of history that was made that you can't get in this or in this. Now, let us go to the real one. This one. This is a basic one. This is a very old one. But if we go... Let me set this down, because I don't want damage. The helmets, these are painted on. So the cup was printed, the helmets are painted on. We go over here, the buttons are all painted on. The crests are painted on. <clears throat> it's... <sighs> It's weird, but once you start knowing what you're looking for, you know what uh, you know what you want to buy. This one sadly doesn't have the names of the regiment on, but it is 100% authentic to the time. It's interesting because it does have the Jewish star there, but you can feel there. You can feel the buttons. It is a gorgeous piece. Talking about the 9th Bavarian Infantry Regiment, I believe. 8th Company. Würzburg. The top is ornate, doesn't have this. Some of them you will find soldiers and whatnot on top. Some of them you'll find this. This is just an ornate one. This cup is from probably 1890s, late 1890s. If we take this, we go up, you can see the soldier in there. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And then here we tell you the Soldaten, yeah, tell you uh, what it is, 9th Kugel Regiment, Würzburg. Just a beautiful cup. And that is an original one. Now, I've told you what to look for, and I know that many people are not going to watch a 9, 10, 11 minute video on these things. If you do, I'm glad. I do not want you to go and spend 30 bucks on something like this thinking it's real at the flea market i bought this for five i don't want you going and buying this right here because it looks a lot better my goodness it does for you know a hundred dollars because you're thinking you're getting a good deal which a hundred dollars is actually a very decent deal for this but if you really want an original that's going to hurt when you find out it's not stuff to look for like this one a very rare cup especially if it was made in the 40s but maybe that's not what you're looking for but this one you could buy trade and you know sort of what you're looking to buy it for and then this one what you are supposed to be looking for you will make mistakes like i did but i don't want you to have to go through two of these one of these another cup that i bought Luckily, I don't pay a lot of money for these, but if, you know, you were anticipating went for a two-week vacation in Germany, this could uh, be an impulse purchase that you would regret, and I don't want you having those regrets. Also on the bottom of the authentic cups, usually you'll have the names. Reservist Ackermann. Jo uh, Johan Bend Bender Bendil? Bendil? Probably butchering that, but I digress. Hopefully, you guys have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, and have taken a little information from this video. This is Chris, signing off.